everyone. Welcome to Reheat a Cup with Lori. Cheers. So we're actually filming in the afternoon, which is why I look maybe a little more rough than I typically do in the early mid-morning. Um, but we have just been crazy busy. And so today it's Ella and I just hanging out. Caroline's playing um, over at a friend's house. Um, and today we wanted to talk a little bit about um, our blog post on potty training. <laughs> yeah, potty training! So we have not started her. She just turned 11 months old this week. Um, but we have a neighbor friend who is potty training and it just kind of sparked so many wonderful memories of potty training with Caroline. So I decided to blog about it this week. So the link will be in the description, but I just wanted to chat quickly on some of my tips for potty training. So, oh my gosh, he is the cutest. <laughs> so my first and foremost tip is don't listen to everybody else. You know, with Caroline, a lot of my potty training journey was almost a reaction to, and I think I wrote this in the blog, um, a reaction to daycare drop off and pick up chatter. Um, listening to everybody else who was already potty training, already there or starting to be there or planning to be there. And I felt like, oh my gosh, like, we're not there, so we need to be there. Um, so one of my biggest um, words of advice for you moms, especially if this is your first time doing it, is try to ignore everybody else. Um, everybody has good intentions, of course. When talking about that kind of thing, you know, it's helpful to hear how other parents are doing and, and so forth. Um, but sometimes that kind of chitter chatter can be a little bit harmful to you, not because of what they're saying, but because of how we take that as mothers. And even though we shouldn't, we judge ourselves on where our children are, where we feel they need to be. So that would be honestly my biggest takeaway from potty training with Caroline. And we were extremely lucky. She ended up not doing well the first couple tries, and you can read more in my blog. Um, but she told me when she was ready. She literally came home one day and was like, Mom, I'm ready to wear big girl panties. Um, and I literally almost cried. Maybe I did cry. Who knows? But um, I was super happy and super excited. And it was easy breezy from there. So just remember, every kid is different. So try not to listen too much to what everybody else has to say and um, do with what you think is going to work best for your kid and for you because potty training is no joke and it takes so much involvement um, from the parents and so if you don't have like for example if you don't have support at home or if you have a spouse who is going to be traveling whatever um, pick another time or if you're going to be traveling pick another time because you need to solely focus on potty training, whether you end up with the easy route or the hard route. Um, it still needs to be focused um, pretty exclusively on for a couple days once they do decide to start. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, yeah Ella says thank you. And we hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week. Oh, there goes my phone. So happy mommy and everyone, and we'll see you guys soon.